I don't want to make this video on something that sounds a bit odd, but sleeping patterns and all that sort of stuff when you're off grid. Um, and you would come out with a subject like that. There's one thing you notice a lot when you're off grid, and that is how quiet it is. And also, you can see all the stars. And that the main noise you usually hear is animal noises, like birds. Um, yeah. Some of those animal noises in the night will scare the bejesus out of you and wake you up. Um, we got this bird that we have here about once a year, and it literally sounds like someone's kid screaming their guts out. Like, it almost sounds like someone's been stabbed to death or something like that. Terrible bloody noise, but uh, that bird hasn't been around for a couple of years, so we were right. Um, you get the obvious mouse noises and stuff like that in the wall. Um, and, you know, there are times where, depending on your wood supply, you'll wake up because uh, it's cold based on the fact that, <clears throat> well, your log didn't burn all the night through or something like that, or your log's rolled over in the fire and snuffed itself out, gone out, um, or something like that. So you know, there's been a lot of times where I've had to wake up at the four-hour period and you know, refill uh, the wood heater with uh, wood. Um, I've been told by other people that evaporative coolers work really well if you dose them up with ice, but the ice will only go for about four hours before you've got to wake up and put another heap of ice on, uh, which is sort of unfortunate, but... You know, I can sort of handle being woken up in the middle of the night. It, it's not very grand, um, but, you know, you sort of, uh, you live with it. But the funny thing is, because it's so exceedingly quiet, your mind may get used to it being so quiet, as I'm saying as a plane's flying overhead. Uh, but at night, you know, it can be so exceedingly quiet that your mind gets used to it being very quiet. And when I first got the solar fridge, funny things started happening. Then it'd start up and I'd wake up because of this unexpected noise. And I'd be, oh, what's, what have I woken up for? And, uh, think, what's that? You got a fridge, you dickhead. Oh, oh, it's a fridge. Yeah. Back to sleep again. But honestly, I get woken up several times a night just by the fridge starting, even though it's in another room, um, just because of this noise that I wasn't used to or the fact that there was a noise at all. Um, you know, that was sort of starting up unexpectedly. Um, and, yeah, that was that was strange how I, I just used to, you know, first couple of months of having the fridge, I used to keep waking up in the middle of the night purely just because the fridge had started up and my mind wasn't used to this noise and then I'd get woken up because my subconscious had woke up my conscience sort of thing. So, um, yeah. <laughs> So there you go, you know, you're likely to sleep a hell of a lot better living off grid um, than you did not off grid. Unless you go and get a rooster, then, then your sleeping is just stuffed all together. Um, but during the, you know, warmer months and that, yeah, you're likely to sleep so, so much better off grid just purely because of peace, serenity, tranquility, quietness. Um, you know, of being out in these sort of areas, um, generally speaking, unless you're, you know, near a road or there's noises from a quarry that echo across or something stupid like that, um, you know, you should have a uh, nice quiet night and, um, you know, you may find that if you had a lot of trouble sleeping in the city, suddenly you are sleeping really well for the first time in so many years. Um, you know, once you move off grid.